It's true, four out of five dentists recommend subscribing to this channel for nicer smiles because sales always put smiles on our faces, right? Sometimes there's something that doesn't put a smile on our face and that's whenever there's a glitch in eBay. For some reason, something just isn't working. We're getting a blank screen or some error message that just makes no sense. Maybe you shipped four packages already this morning and on your fifth one, the mailing label system just do doesn't come up. Something's wrong. Well, eBay does have glitches. All websites have glitches. eBay has a few more than normal, I believe. eBay still is using very old code, technology, the programming underneath the eBay site you see. A lot of it is what we call legacy code. That is programming code or a program, bits of what ebay.com used years and years and years ago. They're still kind of using parts of that and they're kind of cobbling it together. Honestly, the whole thing needs to be rewritten from scratch using new programming technology, but they're still cobbling on to old code a lot of places. That's why the My eBay screen, when you go there, you still see a really old My eBay screen. And all of that should be on Seller Hub. There shouldn't even be a My eBay screen, or Seller Hub should be called My eBay as well. But it's not because they still have that legacy stuff. And anytime they try to add a new feature or change a little bit, bugs happen, glitches happen. You just can't test for everything as a company like that until you hear that there have been problems, that something's not working right. And I believe since eBay uses so much code that's still pretty old, we run into glitches a lot. What can you do? Well, you can wait a little bit, but also there is a web part of eBay called System Status. And you go to that with this web address, ebay.com slash STS for system status, I guess. Right now, everything is up. All aspects of eBay are up. But once in a while, if you're having a mailing label problem, you will see that shipping will show an outage, a service outage or a disruption. And this just lets you know it's probably not you. It's definitely on eBay's side. Thursday night maintenance windows. They have put little messages up here. If you were to work on eBay Thursday night, two hours, and I don't know why they don't tell us exactly the time that this is going to happen, but they're saying we're going to have maintenance for two hours Thursday night. Now I have a feeling it's going to be in the wee hours, like for most people, like two, three, four a.m., that sort of thing. But they really should give a time for this. All we want is just tell us what's going on. You know, if something's not going to work right, okay, just tell us the time that you're doing the maintenance. But they didn't do that. But anyway, always look at this screen if you're having some sort of a glitch. Honestly, eBay does not always religiously update this screen the way they should. Sometimes there is a payout or a shipping problem, a glitch of some kind that they know about it, and they did not not rush to this screen in order to tell us. But you can often find the problem they're having is just a temporary glitch. They're working on it. As long as eBay admits to it, great, that means they're working on it. eBay doesn't want you to not be able to do mailing labels. It's in eBay's best interest to get your mailing labels working again. So it's not like they don't care. They really do. There is something else that happens with eBay, and that is once you've used eBay a long time with the same web browser, your browser starts getting full. The cache, what we call cache, some people call it cache, but I don't speak French. But anyway, the cache fills up with images and web pages, and your browser just gets sluggish, and it can cause eBay to have glitches when it's really not eBay having the glitch. You just need to empty your browser cache. And the way you do that is go to Google and say, how do I empty the browser cache for Google Chrome? Or how do I empty the cache for Firefox browser? Just Google it and find out. I'm not going to show you how to empty your cache. But, you know, you can always go to your system menu of your browser and find it. Just search for it. But the first thing I do is always go, and this is what I suggest, always go to the system status screen and see, is it me or is it eBay? If I see nothing here, it still could be eBay. Again, they don't always update this immediately, but I then go to a different web browser. If I'm using Chrome, I will go to Microsoft Edge. You should have multiple browsers on your computer. You should install Edge. Edge is a pretty good browser. You should install Chrome. Chrome is a great browser. You should install Firefox. Firefox is a good browser. You really should have all three. You'll have one that you prefer, 
The one that you've been using all this time is probably the one you prefer. Keep using it, but install these others so that anytime you're finding a glitch on eBay, really any other website, often if you just go to the other browser, just if you normally work in Chrome, start Microsoft Edge and see if you get the same results. You will often find that you don't. Now, I've had several people in this group and in the group that started four or five years ago that was paid subscription only. And many people would have little eBay glitches. And I would always say, check the system status. And if it shows that it's okay, try a different browser. And they would often, and I'm talking about 30, 40, 50% of the time, say, oh yeah, the new browser, the other browser worked. Well, that's because you need to go back and clear out your cache and everything. Now, warning, 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 Will Robinson. If you clean out your cache and do however your web browser that's having the glitch needs to be cleaned out and you do that, it's going to forget all your passwords, everything. The next time you go to ebay.com, it's going to ask you to sign in. Next time you go to Facebook, it's going to ask you to sign in. That's the hassle or else it wouldn't be a big deal. You just every morning maybe clear all your cache of all your browsers that you use and never have a problem. But that's a hassle because you have to re-sign in. Now, there are ways to tell your browser, don't make me sign in to eBay again if I clear the cache of all of the other stuff. And you can get into that if you want to. Just know that if you do end up finding that a glitch does not work under one browser, but there's no glitch under the other, you're going to have to go back to your favorite browser or the first one and clear the cache, which means you're going to have to sign into everything again that you haven't normally had to sign into for a while. But that's the only drawback, and it should fix your problem. And we like to fix problems here at the Ultra Advanced on eBay YouTube channel. If you ever have any problems, questions, comments, leave them below. I don't care if it's about this video. You can leave any question, any comment on any video. I'm here to help. Quarter of a century experience of heavily selling on eBay. I know a lot about eBay. I may not do much very well, but I do eBay very well, and I can help you.